Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. There has been something I have wanted to uh, talk about for a little while, but as most of you know, my life has been on fast forward here lately. But now I am at the point where I can uh, throw this out there for all of you that have in brilliance um, and do the Stitch Artist uh, program. Um, I'm not sure if it's in. Um, essentials in that because when you stack programs you know they all combine um and I'm not able to go in and check to see if it's just in essentials or enthusiast okay so if you do have that you can go in and check but when you're okay so I went in I digitized this this is my fully made file I made this in shortcuts a lot all right and don't I know these wings are two different colors um I'm still learning <laughs> but anyhow, I go in and I save um, my working file and my project. So this is already saved. I've saved it on my stick. And once again, you can save your um, embroidery files right along with your scan and cut files on the same stick. And you don't have to worry about it messing up your machines, okay? They work just fine. So I have this saved. Well, if I want to make an applique out of it, oh my goodness, look at this mess I have over here. I don't want to have to go through here and figure out what to make what and do. No, I don't want to do that. So what am I going to do? Well, I could just cut something out by hand, but I don't want to do that. But looky here. Because I already have it saved, and that is very important, you must have this file saved. If you do not have it saved, this is not going to work. Come up here to File, Export Outlines. Okay. And I already have this one done. I've done it. I've named it this. So let's go ahead and click yes. Okay. So now the outlines are saved. I'm not going to click down on that because it never comes back up the right way. So let's come here and let's see what we have. Awesome. And I do. I have checked the sizes before and it works perfectly. It comes in at the exact same size. So let's click off it. Well, I don't want... I don't want the words to be cut out. Oops, and I know if I grab that, it's going to it's gonna be, the, nope, I want to put that right back. So let me click undo. I want to just grab the letters. Because right now, everything is setting apart except for the wings. The wings are together. All of this stuff is setting individually. All right, and that's okay. Because as you can see, it's a double line. And if you do not want to cut double lines, I will show you what to do here. Okay. Now, I'm going to get rid of this thing. That's irritating me. This stuff is A-OK. -okay, but this stuff isn't. But I want to show you something. Okay, so let's click this wing. Let me see if I can just click on these. Okay, so this stuff, you can pop it out. For the most part let me just try it this way okay so that stuff isn't in there this looks like it might be attached okay it is so let's get rid of let me grab it for once let's get this stuff over to the side let's pick these up this stuff must all be attached yep okay so we're gonna come up here Highlight all of that, come up here to Object, Break Apart, and let's see if we can grab this one. Okay, so we got that one. Now this, if you take a look at this whole thing, it is actually one piece. It's one line, all right? So we're going to have to cut that apart because, yes, this is going to help me. I'll be able to cut this piece of fabric, all right? But this won't be any fabric. Let me try to, okay, I'm going to try to group all of this stuff right here. Because that I want to keep all together. I'm checking, okay. I see this little piece right here is actually part of the wing. And this is all paw. Except for this piece. So you're going to have to go through and carefully pull this apart. 
and make sure that what you're cutting is what you need. Okay, so that is 100% all paw. So now I can group that. Okay, so go ahead and pull apart and group what you need, what you want to keep. Those things are so small, I don't need them. But let's finish this because remember, you don't really want to move this around if you don't have to, but you can, okay? Because you're going to, these aren't attached anyhow, so you're going to independently place these. The same thing with this. Okay, so let's break this apart and see if we can pull some of this stuff out. Maybe for lucky. Yay, cool. Oops. Okay, so let's delete this. All right, so now the easiest thing to do is to take your eraser and just tick the ends of it. And that will separate them. Maybe. Oops. Uncheck keep closed path, silly girl. Okay. And that will open that path and allow you. Now, don't forget this. You got to come back up. Object, break apart. And that should free up that. Yep. Okay. All right. So that's free now. Okay. So you'll go ahead and you'll do the same with this one. And then what I would do so that you can make a good um, applique piece is just add the lines. And you'll do this the same way as just add the lines in there. Then you're going to go ahead, come up, file, export. your stick and then you'll you'll go ahead and do everything that you need to this one you can delete you'll go ahead and finish this one the same way as you've done this one then you're ready to save your entire thing so you can put applique pieces and then click save after you've changed it to your FCM okay but I wanted to, to share this with you for a little while and now I'm just getting the chance okay guys if you have any questions you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook thanks guys and remember this is only in in brilliance and I do have um, stitch artist 2 and 3 and I also have um, stitch artist uh, essentials or not stitch artist and brilliance essentials okay guys Thanks a lot.